On this week's boiler tip, we're going to take a quick look at regulators. On this Columbia boiler here at Boiler U, we've got two regulators in series going to the piece of equipment. And sometimes we get questions, why is that? And that, and that raises the question, how do we select the right regulator for a piece of equipment? And, and why, in some cases, would we need to? Um, ultimately, we've got a burner that requires a certain gas pressure. On this piece of equipment up here, I believe it requires somewhere between three and four inches of gas pressure at the burner. In order to get the right gas pressure delivered to the burner for full rate operation, we need a final adjustment regulator. And that spring range, which gives us our output pressure range, gives us the ability to adjust the final delivery pressure to the burner. Now, unfortunately, when this piece of equipment was delivered, the final adjustment regulator is not rated for our plant pressure. So our plant pressure here is six PSI, and this regulator has a maximum allowable inlet pressure of, of maybe 14 to 28. Um, it's important to look up the model of the regulator you've got to see what that limit is. But this regulator, uh, the Max Troll 210, is rated for 10 PSI max. So what we're doing is we're stepping down the plant pressure to a pressure that our final adjustment regulator can manage. It is critical that each gas appliance has a regulator because we don't want unregulated pressure going to our burner. Variations in plant pressure could change our fuel air ratio and whatnot. So the key to the regulators to have them sized for the right outlet pressure and the right volume to deliver what we need.